All right, well, we're heading to Atlanta, which is absolutely a drafting track. Um, <laughs> Ryan Blaney, William Byron, Christopher Bell, Chase Elliott, Tier 1. A uh, big little bit of a separate. Tier 2, Hamlin, Logano, Chastain, Wallace, Kez, Busher, Bush, Truex, Larson. Just give me the overall confidence in the predictor before I keep selling this thing, Professor. Well, the numbers are there for him. I, I like the numbers. It's just anything could happen, like we see all the Daytona. I'm, I feel better about Atlanta. I think it's less less chaotic than it is at Daytona or Talladega. But again, anything can happen. Like Corey LaJoy always runs well at at Atlanta because it's a drafting track. So so you do have people that are better at Atlanta because it's a drafting track. But but again, the, the cream is always going to rise to the top. And like Blaney, Byron, Bell, Chase Elliott are at the top because they're good at drafting tracks and they're good basically everywhere. Well, before we get into the race, do we want to talk qualifying? Sure. Fords have dominated Speedway qualifying. They even dominated the Daytona 500 by taking the front row with Joey Logano and Michael McDowell. So the question is, do you believe that will continue, Professor? That's the million-dollar question heading to Atlanta. Yes. They won the last four races, polls on drafting tracks, and won both of the polls we had since we've been reconfigured at, at Atlanta. All right. And so let's talk. Like, top eight at Atlanta. At one point, they're just they're just really good. So if you talk organization, we got Team Penske, Logano, and Blaney at both plus six fifty. I'm looking for Cindric. He's plus he's ten to one for the poll. McDowell's have, 200, 2,000 to one. Keselowski's fifteen to one. I um, like that one. You like which one? I like Keselowski. I so think it's funny. RFK the though hasn't been when you look at the. Give me the last three or four Ford polls, Professor. So they've been Stuart Haas or Penske. Stuart Haas won the last three drafting track polls last year. And Who had those? This year. Which drivers at Stuart Haas had those? Do you know? Is Almirola, Briscoe, Almirola. Is, 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 is that a typo on Briscoe? He can't be 120 to 1. He's 12 to 1. Mm, let me check for you. So if you took the four, if you took the four SHR cars, follow me here. You're looking at seventy-five to one on Josh Bear. I mean, you're looking at forty to one or longer. The stats would say those are bad lines. I'm just saying, right, Tim's? Like, I'm not saying yeah. push the house in on it, but I would say this is a clear discrepancy from stats to reality. You could actually take. Blaney, you could take Logano, Blaney, and all four SHR cars. And if you know, and you're still talking plus money because it's like, like, now nah, I'm not saying a lot, but you could put a little, just a little nibble. Yeah, a little yeah, sprinkle that, on them. That was a typo with Briscoe. 12 to 1, right? Yeah. But Gregson, 40 to 1. Is that right? Yeah. So, so that's the wow. 10 car. That's the car that's been the fastest here on drafting tracks lately. He won the poll there last time we were there. I think it's a must bet, Tim's. If you're not on your phone right now firing, then you've you've let me down completely. Yeah, even Ronnie Childers is the crew chief of Barry. Like I think him alone can get that on the on the poll. No, I mean that seems like a that doesn't seem like a must bet. I thought it was a must bet for Daytona because I thought they were going to try to prove something without Kevin in the car, but they really weren't that great single car speed, were they? No, no, not really. You were right about the Fords being at the front. You just had... I think it's a Ford front row again at Atlanta. Write it down. I'm willing to say it. Um, I don't think it's McDowell. I think that smaller team... So quickly about McDowell and front row, how important is that alliance with Penske? Well, it obviously helped. I mean, it's by no chance that a Penske's on the front row next to them. I think that has something to do with it. Uh, the big problem is this is back-to-back -back speedway races, and I know the next-gen cars are all the same parts and pieces, but let's not kid ourselves to think they're just thrown together the same way. That's a lie. To sit on the pole, to have single-car speed, it really comes down to some pretty finite details, a little extra time. So when you look at somebody like Front Row who wrecked a bunch of stuff down there, right? It, it like it's, it's a tough week to go back to Atlanta. That's why I, I like Penske, although Blaney wrecked two cars, so maybe you want to stay away from that one too. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Something's something's making me feel like it's an SHR type of uh, SHR type of situation. I think it's Fords again, and I'm thinking this is SHR's week. I don't hate Penske though. Like, I don't think they're gonna inf magically slow down a week later. Yeah, I think you, you have to have a little on Logano, 
just to hedge that. I think he's going to be the best. There you go. There you go. Logano and SHR, spread it out, Tim. So let's jump right in the race. Um, Blaney, Byron, Bell, Chase Elliott, Tier 1 drivers. There's no way you can go wrong with having those four guys. I mean, look, look, they're all going to be there. Chase Elliott, um, you know, the only story better than, or eh, it probably wouldn't be better than, but the only story that would compare to him winning the Daytona 500 would be winning in the home state of Georgia. Come off the winless streak. So there's still Bring a great... siren. Yeah, the siren will be on. So you got to, you can't ignore... Chase and it's funny. Chase is up to ten to one. Even his fans are starting to give up a little bit. The lines moving or the books, <laughs> no twelve to one, right? Like we never saw Chase at twelve to one. The books could never do it. Yeah, he looked a little rusty making moves though at the end of that Daytona five hundred. So mean, is it felt... rusty or is it a new spotter? That's a real question. That's a good question. That was a, you. You mentioned that last week, and that was a worry of mine. He didn't throw him under the bus though. So, it's a good nah, well, he's family. You're not going to roll him under the bus. And one thing I'll give about Chase, some people hate it. I actually appreciate it, is he doesn't hold anyone on the team to a higher level of performance more than himself. Like he holds, he looks in the mirror and says, I, this is what I need to do better. I could work for a guy that acts like that. Right now, I'm well, fine so if he goes in a closed door and rips everyone's butt and says, hey, man, we got to do better, blah, 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 blah. In public, he has a huge voice. I, something about Ross Chastain, the bull. Ross Chastain was up front at Daytona. All right, Professor. Give me your confidence level. Who do you really like? I see the prof- I see the predictor, but who do you like? I do like Ross. He's been runner-up twice at Atlanta on this configuration. He was really good at Daytona. So I, I do like Ross. Kozlowski should have won this race last year, right? He was sixth in July. Like, he was good in both races there last year. Um, and then our long – you want to go long shots or you want to continue Who on? doesn't love a long shot? Sure. Corey LaJoy. He, he's been top five twice at Atlanta. He would never be like, we would never consider him um, like a threat to win or finish top five at Atlanta. If it wasn't this drafting style um, again, he got it done at, at, at Daytona finished top 10 again, all of his career top tens have been on drafting tracks. So Tim's give me, I want to, I want the mindset of you as the gambler here. 40 dish to one to win. You find them in different books, different places, but call them 40 to one. You can look at 10 to 12 to one top three, five ish to one top five, or definitely plus money in the top 10, like one or two times your money, one and a half times your money. Are you looking at LaJoy as your Hail Mary long shot? You want to hit this, the, the big win, his first career win, or are you looking at some sort of value in the top five or top 10 market? Uh, I'm looking more top 10, top five market with the joy, at least, uh, just because I, I don't think th- there's the, the track record with him is he's up front. He's, he's competing for the lead, but he's crashing or he's making a move that sends him out of the lead. And I, I mean, I bet on him last week in the Daytona 500, he made the move that arguably cla- crashed then ended the race and he finished third and you don't win any of your bets if you bet him to win. So I, I do regret not betting him a little bit in the top 10 cause he's up there. So with him, I, I'd either I target him in matchups and I target him in uh, top tens, top five, and and like the Daytona five hundred for me, yeah, it's fun to bet a long shot. It's the, it's the biggest race of the year. But when we move to Atlanta, I kind of almost want to target the long shots as you know money makers in matchups and not necessarily try to just go for the home run right off the bat now and kind of switch my mindset there. 